to DIY professionals and today it is 21 professionals in 2021. I hope that you've been enjoying our interviews so far but today I have a special treat for you. I have a young lady that is studying to be a dental surgeon. She's in her final year and so she's looking forward to great things in becoming a dental surgeon. But not only that, she is actually a budding entrepreneur. So she has taken the reins of starting her own business. And I am so excited to be talking with her today. So welcome, Danielle Fung. So Danielle, please go ahead, introduce yourself. Tell me a little bit about you. You know, what are some of the words you use to describe yourself? Thank you so much for having me. I am more than happy to be here. It's an honor and a privilege. My name, as she said rightfully, is Danielle Fong. Of course, for me to describe myself, I would just use three words, really. I would say I'm a very motivated individual, resilient, and of course, a confident individual. All right, awesome. And it's really important for us to be very motivated and resilient. So I love those words. So I said before that you are practicing or studying to be a dental surgeon. So tell me a little bit about that. Um, was it an easy road? What is it that really motivated you to want to study to be a dental surgeon? Okay, so of course, many decisions that we make in life that as persons would normally say, or elderly persons would say, mm -hmm. it would be a bittersweet experience in that sometimes we may think that it's going to be an easy road at first, but upon taking the journey or accepting the challenge, you would see that, you know, it's only God alone can help you through this. And of course, my, my journey to becoming the dentist has been one that is robust. I myself at times don't even understand what's happening around me or what's happening in my life, but I have to just trust the process. And it's most important that, you know, I must give honor and glory to the Lord in my life, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, King Jesus, of course, because he is the one that has always been laying straight the foundation and showing me where to walk, right? So I'm like, as a person to say, I'm like a blind man holding on to a stick, which is the stick is Jesus Christ or my that 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 thing that used the, the blind man used to move forward and Jesus Christ is my guide. And that's basically my experience through dental school. And for me, your question, your other question was that what was the other question? Sorry. What was what actually motivated you to want to become a dental surgeon? Yes. And of course, dentistry, most persons would think about the mouth and the teeth. But what drew me to dentistry is that I have noticed over a period of time in that I would see persons that they would really want to express themselves in a form that would just show the inner man what is going on on the inside. And what, what better way to, to help someone and what to uplift the smile, right? In that some persons may have lost their self-confidence being that thinking that, you know, that tooth may have been causing me not to smile and they're not photogenic. And it's way deeper than that. It's the sense that, you know, it could be that persons may be feeling a, a little bit distressed. And us as, as dentists, what I've been learning as training to become the practitioner is that we are not only dentists, but we are counselors. And when you get to know the patient one-on-one, -on -one, you can also help them holistically. And yes, I love this avenue that I'll be able to help others by way of the smile, the mouth. Wonderful. It actually brings to mind um, a, 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 a famous saying that says, you know, first impressions last. And your smile is so important. And sometimes you don't really take a lot of interest into um, oral care. And so I really love the fact that you're looking at it at a different aspect in terms of building your confidence as an individual. 
So now you have sought a move from oral care and you have gone into hair care. And so I realized that you're kind of setting a little trend there where you're dealing with the face. And it's so important because, you know, sometimes we think, you know, if we wear a little makeup here and there and we don't concentrate on the other parts of our bodies, you know, concerning our face, that you know we feel as if yes i'm very confident when i have on makeup but no you have actually started a business in hair care tell me about the business so what is the name of the business and what is it that you specialize in okay so it's so important that you highlighted the fact that persons tend to neglect parts of your body that really are important and as as we all often hear that every member is important right everything comes together to make the puzzle and of course the thought of me wanting to do hair care all started back in 2017 when i was but yes still in um university um about say third second year thereabouts and i just felt that i was just transitioning in 2016 i did it was one season of change at our church where I just decided that I'm just going to cut off all this cream ear and go natural. And then now uh, when it is that I cut off all the cream ear now and started the natural process, I was like, no man, this thing dread it, dry, you know, <laughs> this needs something, for, uh, I need something to help me to moisturize my hair yeah. so that my hair, it must can be tamed, right? And for me <laughs> to appreciate that it's a part of me, it's a member, right? And everything, as I said earlier, comes together to fit the puzzle. And I remember when I started it, I was a kind of bit iffy because I tend to, because I was thinking that, you know, it's a business that I'm going to start and mm -hmm. I'm most sit and think about, how oh, is it a, like, a, like a framework, right? right? Or a plan. But I didn't really understand how to make the plan. But, you know, I went to the master plan, of course, mm -hmm. and he helped me to formulate a name and, of course, uh, uh, what you call that again, the slogan. Right. Okay. And the name defining the inner you all started when it is that I wanted to not only treat the hair portion, but holistically, because for your hair to grow, you have to ensure that inside is well. Right. It all starts with a positive mindset. It all starts with a positive you holistically or you eat and all of that. So if ear care and Skin care, which came on little um after, was all birthed through that process. Wonderful, wonderful. So you said you went into skincare. That's awesome. You know, even in my own hair journey, I have found that you know we take we don't take a lot of um, emphasis and care with our natural hairs, and we oftentimes think that our natural hairs are easier to take care of than you know um a process here you know and yeah. so i like the fact that you talk about that it was your journey in going to be natural because you know who better to provide the product than somebody who is actually going through their own journey so tell me um what are some of the products that you offer okay so currently mm -hmm. i have approximately seven to eight products now being developed I have from the air care, mainly I focus on oils now currently. I try to focus on um, a specific area so that I'll be able to build more knowledge. And before it is that I can even consider to make new products, I tend to research to see what's the pros and cons of using this product on my skin. Okay. And I am the guinea pig, of course. So currently I have oils in which I man I make them locally made here in Jamaica. So I have like a coconut oil, you have a castor oil. Uh, well, I have a supplier for the castor oil, a local mm -hmm. supplier. I have, I made my own coconut oil and I'm also diversifying to see if it is that I can find a local um, supplier for the coconut oil to get a more, um, more yield, right? Because of course, when it is that person see that it's authentic and it's brand Jamaica, they will want to drive towards it. So I have more demand than supply. So I wanted to more seek uh, additional help from my other local um, suppliers, manufacturers rather. So I have the coconut oil, castor oil, I have, um, sorry, um, aloe oil. I have my carrot oil. I also tried, since I, I wondered, 
since these that I made so much oil, why not mix them and see what's the result? And I then went and made my mm -hmm. first, started last year late, first growth oil. So I made a growth oil for children and I made one for the adult. So how old is the business? Four years old, four years, four years old. Right. Um, so, you know, guess what? Seeing is believing. So we have some pictures and just a showcase of um, the products. And so I want us to go to that so that we can actually see what products look like and you can walk us through. So you can go ahead. I said earlier, this is DF's hair and skincare. And our aim is to define the inner you. So about the products, these oils are cold pressed from locally cultivated crops, plants that are rich in vitamins and minerals that are specially manufactured for you to define your inner beauty. And I started with this product here, the coconut oil, right? This is my foundation product, right? So this was the very first one that came to my mind for me to make. And of course it was really accepted and, and, and by persons that really wanted more and more, but I was having a little bit of difficulty supplying because the demand was way high. But I did persevere and I still continued. Uh, the benefits of coconut oil, I just have a few here. Why it is that I recommend persons, recommended persons to use this product is that it helps with the moisturizing your skin, of course. It's antibacterial, it reduces wrinkles, it brightens dark spots. And most importantly, what I love about coconut oil is that it, it says here where it is, it's used for teeth whitening <laughs> and it's good for your gum health. But again, there are studies that shows that and persons have their reviews, but personally I have not experienced this, this part of it. Um, it diminishes the, the veins that persons will normally have on their skin. Of course, it helps to fade them out because it increases the blood supply to the area. Um, another thing important about coconut oil, what I love is that it's an excellent makeup remover, right? And for all our ladies that like to look so fancy and cute, it's excellent to be used to remove the makeup. And it's nice to be included in your air mask. So if you're using your, um, your bentonite clay and um, other clays, it's very good to include in to make the mask more easier to be removed from the hair. Um, there's a caution though, where using coconut oil in your face may leave some breakout because of course it's an oil, it's a carrier oil. So it's important that it is that you use a small amount. Again, when it is that we're using um, products, it's always good that you balance everything and you'll see further. Okay. And I'm this is my second product. I'm just going to jump in a little bit here because um, I see where you have done a lot of research and even from the get go, you had spoken and said, you know, um, you had done your own research because you produce your own products. How important is research for you in terms of ensuring that you are bringing the best quality out there? All right. So in Jamaica, we like, we, we hear the saying, we say, um, before, um, oh, oh Lord, sorry about that. <laughs> that was just in my head, but it's all, it's important it is before you even say somebody to taste something, it's good for you to go taste of it for yourself. And okay. of course you don't want to poison yourself. So you want to make sure that so the ingredients in that product is essential for your body and it will give you a maximum effect, right? So research is a very optimum, I'm um, sorry, very important in that it gives you the ability to see the pro, weigh the pros and cons and it helps you to weigh in the fact that, you know, this product is used for this area while there's another product that can help with another. So I like the fact that, you know, you have emphasized research as being important because a lot of large corporations see research as an important um, wheel in terms of their operation because research really keeps them going and help them to make the million dollar um, decisions. And so the fact that you have um, tapped into research as being important is very good. You know, that is kind of a lost art among small entrepreneurs, among small business owners, because they don't see the value in it because sometimes research costs too much. 
And so I really like the fact that you're doing um, research um, to, to really enhance um, your business and to really drive home the importance of the products that you use so that you can really say, this is value added. This is the additional information that persons can get to understand that, listen, I am selling you, I'm not just selling you a product to make money, but I'm selling you a product that has a lot of health benefits and these are all the information. So I really love that. So, all right, tell me a little bit more about the rest of your products. Thank you so much. So the next product that I have, I produced was the carrot oil. The carrot oil, is a very beneficial oil in that you know persons it's one of the oils too that you normally not see in the beauty supply stores because when it is that when i started to manufacture this oil i had persons really saying you know as i said before it was beer on the shelf so they are so happy that it's now available to them and one of the major benefits of the carrot oil is that it i'm just gonna um bring up the screen a little bit more is that okay. it contains vitamin A and E. And of course, we know vitamin A is good for our eyes and it's also good for your skin and E is good for your skin also. So as I highlighted later to say, it's excellent for your skin, even your skin tone. So wherever you're having those um, dark spots, it helps to even the skin tone there. And it also helps to clear stretch marks. Yes, ladies and men, it helps to clear the stretch marks and it strengthens your hair and promotes, of course, hair growth. And these are some of the um the sizes that i offer of course in any one of the oils you can get it available currently available now is the four ounce bottle and the two ounce bottles that's available in the carrot oil and you know interesting because yes. i don't think i've ever seen carrot oil I think I think I want to try this one. I think this is the one that I want to try because I don't think you are Amazing. actually tapped into a, 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 a new kind of sphere of thing. And I like that because, you know, you're as an entrepreneur, you're not just going into what you know or what is popular in the market, but you're also going into another space. And I like that. This is very interesting. I love it. I love it. All right. Thank so, you so much. I'm trying my very best. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, so tell me, what are the other products? All right. So the other product that I have um, discovered, um, well, not really discovered, but is that I had manufactured is the aloe vera oil. All right. In Jamaica, we say aloe vera or Cinco Bible, right? So basically what the aloe vera oil the aloe oil with some persons would rightfully say i'd say virgin aloe oil in that i really don't add anything to my oils more than just the the base oil that i use to extract the nutrients from the from the the raw material in which the when i say raw material i mean in the aloe vera or the carrots or the coconut so i use our right, so coconut is coconut is able to generate its own oil as it's called okay it. So what I do for the aloe vera oil is that I would use a base oil and I'd, I'll get the nutrients from the aloe vera to seep into that oil, right? And of course, there is I'm way more science behind it. So but if you want the information, you can always feel free to come back to me and speak personally, or you can also, I recommend that you do your own research. All right. Um, so, wait, wait, Daniel, so you mentioned science to it. So you are trying to tell me, that this whole producing a product and putting it all out on the market requires you to have a little bit of science background? Well, not necessarily, but okay. you must at, at least appreciate the science, appreciate okay. that science exists in order for you to bring something to me. And that is, if it is that you're going to take something to me and you don't have any sort of say, you don't have no weakness, you don't have no, no ability to note the product to me, I'm not going to be right. one. Right, right. So you must at least have a little appreciation for the office. Okay. So, so you're saying that if in my garden I have some aloe vera, even if I not understand anything about how to do this whole thing, I can start the process because I can do the research and I can understand that it's not just about getting up and putting something out on the market. Because I have to do the research and I have to kind of have an appreciation of the science behind getting this thing out. Um, with the right ingredients, with the right mechanisms to ensure that it is doing what it is saying. Exactly so, definitely. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. 
So what are the other products? All right. As I go along, you can notice that for my products, so I tend to put the purpose of each product on the bottles. That okay. was also recommended by a customer in that most persons would just provide the name of the brand and all of that, but it's good that you right. stimulate some interest with what's the use of this product. So as you could see with aloe vera here, the products uses are there. And if you can't see so clearly, I recommend that you can visit my Instagram page and you know follow and uh, see because I share at times some benefits of the oils that I do produce and how to use okay. them. So this okay. is the air growth oil that I spoke of earlier in that it's just a little, um, I say more, a little more experiment and curiosity that allowed me to make this one in that I would have had all the oils already. So all I needed was just some smaller um, constituents, which would have been like um, to make it more of a hump or a punch. So this is the air growth oil. I delved into producing both a adult and a child because what, upon doing my research, I realized that some of the products that I could use in an adult, um, some of the, the raw materials that I'd use in an adult um, hair product would not be suitable for a child, as you'd understand, of course, and I appreciate that children would not love the harsh products, right? Because it would have at least have some effect on the skin. And of right. course, some persons would also, adults would react same way, vice versa, but it's important that you appreciate the ingredients before you use the products. Mm -hmm. so the hair growth oil now is, it promotes basically it rapid growth, right? Because for my hair growth oil is that I have the coconut infused growth oil and okay. I'm also producing another type of growth oil because you have some persons that really don't want to use the coconut based on what I've learned thus far with the customers. So I'm delving into another arena where I'd know um, I'd have the coconut infused for those who would like but for others I'm also providing another um here the hair growth oil also provides um prevents dandruff right so that's one of my major ingredients in this that pro um, prevents dandruff it would be the guava because I use the guava leaf mm. as one of the major products in this oil and it softens your hair because I had a review, I, I, I have photos, yes. So you can go always go to my Instagram page to go and look at the reviews, right? It may be a few, but I am also welcoming you to when it is that you purchase the product and support, you can always share your reviews with me so I can add it to the page. Um, it also thickens your hair and it provides sheen, of course, that most people complain of with the natural hair is that it's too dry. Um, um, it's too dry and just so, so, so. Right, so right, right. <laughs> it's a big problem with me and my hair. Lord, help me. Let help my hair. <laughs> so I'm just showing, this is just a blown up um, photo of the, the labeling. So the labeling would show you that for the air growth oil for the children, I placed a female hair there, but it's really no gender bias, really. I'm really not aiming for any gender bias. So I'm also considering to remove that too. So if it is that um, you want to purchase it for some reason or other for your son, you could go right. also go on because it, it's also utilized. It, it's, we're all human, right? Um, and it's basically the same use as the adult, right? So the other oils that I offer currently is the neem oil and the castor oil. So the castor oil, I'd say that for the castor oil, most persons would normally run to the castor oil because it's, the, it's basically the, the king of all. Right, but the more you study, you realize that there's still an oil that will surpass the castor oil. So, and again, some you use the oil according to whatever need you have. So, if your need it is that you have tractional alopecia, your edges thinning out, and with all of that pressure that we place on our edges at time, I play, I fall guilty to that. I'm a testimony to that. In that, when it is that we increase the tension on the ear lines, it gets thin, and we see we see it a lot in our society and. Of course, as I said, in my very own life. So what I tend to use is the castor oil on that area and it promotes rapid ear growth. And of course it prevents the dandruff and it softens the hair, thickens the hair and also provides sheen. But for the castor oil, it's important to know that it's, too, it's a very heavy oil. So you'd have to want to know the proportion to which you use this one. 
And for more information with regard to how to use the oils, feel free to ask me. Once there's a desire to want something inside of you, you leave to say, I want that oil. I don't really understand yes. more than what I'm. Feel free to reach out to me and ask further questions. And the neem oil, of course, the neem oil is one that is pretty kind of, I'd say, new to the market since I over about 10 years. Are, well, some person would say 10 years are new, is new, but say about five to 10 years now, the neem oil is becoming more prevalent um, mm -hmm. because it is said to be also the king of all oils because it has amazing health, skin, and hair benefits, of, one, of which one is to reduce eczema, of course. And eczema is something that um, most persons in the tropical areas will complain of, right? Us in Jamaica right, right. and in the Caribbean region. And mm -hmm. it keeps the head lice away, which is the fungus in the air, right? And it mm -hmm. improves the texture, the texture of the air. And if, of course, it stimulates the collagen fibers, the growth of the collagen fibers. So that's very important. And last but not least, I have great news is that I am currently working on some new products and mm -hmm. they're on the new horizon. So I'll soon release those So keep in contact with me on my social media handles and which you'll be able and those with which you'll be able to see the, the products as they have been released. So these are my social media handles. So you can find me on Instagram at BF Air Care on Facebook. And you can always shoot me an email at bfaircare at gmail.com. And of course, I'm on WhatsApp. Shoot me a WhatsApp message at 5429362. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. So I really enjoyed um, getting to know those products. I feel like, you know, I could, you know, almost be able to sell any one of those products to say, listen, Daniel Fong has a wide array from neem oil, castor oil, carrot oil, aloe vera oil. Um, I just love it. I love it. And I really love the fact that you have gone the extra mile to really put a lot of research and a lot of effort in it. And you're not just you know, saying, here's my product, but also what are some of the benefits? Daniel, tell me though, what would you, what would you recommend to persons who want to start their own business, but they don't know where to start? What is one recommendation you would give them? All right. So the main recommendation is that go with your passion. Where is your passion? where it is that you want to delve into? Is it that you are going into a market that is filled with person even though if, if you even though you say for instance you want to be a hairdresser right mm -hmm. and you want to open your own hairdressing salon what's going to make you different is that you utilize that same passion and you're going to add your uniqueness to the passion so even though there are multiple salons there out there you must be able to stand out from those other salons so Passion is number one, and then you have to add your own uniqueness. What's your difference? What's the difference that you're going to take to the table for a person to identify that it's you? And trust me, um, Daniel, I can really hear and um, see the passion resonating from you. And I really think that's really, really an important thing for persons to understand that once you put your passion out there, once you work on your passion, once you put your own stamp of uniqueness to it, then it becomes a product that is set apart, right? Because um, when you really see, when you really look at it, there are a lot of hair care products on the market. There's so much that sometimes you don't even know what to choose. But I really like the fact that you are really putting your uniqueness on it. So Daniel, tell me, what would you say were some of the, the, the struggles that you encountered with doing your business? All right. Of course, it would have been um, the supply because okay. demand, demand far outweighed supply. So I ran myself into a downhill in that I'm going to be frank. I'm going to be real, right? So I came out nice and gloomy and not nice and gloomy, nice and posh, right? And mm -hmm. I put all my stuff there and persons really love the fact of, oh, 
oh, as you were saying, promoted myself and all of that and demanded more and they use the products and they like the reviews, they like the, the, the outcome. So what they did is that I, they were requesting, 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 and I couldn't supply because I was not focused. And that's very important in that we have to focus, right? So if it is that you have a schedule that is very, very busy, you have to find some way to put in some time for the business itself. So that was one of my biggest downfall, not supplying as the okay. persons were demanding, the high demand. So that was the biggest problem for me. That was the biggest problem. So what I'm hearing from you is that in order not to fall into that problem, you have to have a lot of organization and time management. Um, exactly. so, so, right. And that's important for any successful business. And especially the fact that, um, well, I want to go out on a limb and say that you're doing it on your own when you say you're producing the products. But do you employ anyone um, additionally to help you in the process? Currently, no. And that's okay. also another downfall. But I, at times, would recruit the help of my mother, of course, okay. and my little brother, as well as my little brother, but he's my little brother. And they would help me at times to like prepare the fire outside or as simple to clean the containers and to put them together. And even to buy the containers, my father too is very instrumental in that, in that he would help me to, to try and get the containers together. And so that I'd be able to produce as though I should. Okay. And so what I'm also hearing from that is that even if you may not have the resources to employ a full-time staff, it's important to kind of get others to help you, even in the small processes that will help you to manage your time and be able to meet your customers' demands. And that is so important. Sometimes we think, oh, I don't have a staff, so I can't get started. I don't have um, the right personnel, human resources. And sometimes we, we, we let those things become a hindrance or a barrier to us from actually getting started. But I like the fact that you're trying to involve your family in it and saying, you know, your mother is doing this, your father is doing that. And that's so important. Who better? that have our families to help us and those closest to us to help us to really get our passion and our dreams started. So I really love that. So Danielle, I want to thank you so much for being a part of our session today, talking about your dream, your goal, your company. And I am so excited and looking forward to see the new products as well. Um, so just remind us, so we can find you on Instagram, we can find you on Facebook, we can email you. And it is DF's hair, hair and hair. Right, right. So that's the name of the, the, the name, uh, my apologies. The name of the, the company is DF's hair and skincare, you can see, right? And my Instagram handle is different in that because I really started with hair care and it's kind of giving me a challenge to change the name on Instagram. So it's DF Hair Care on Instagram, but we still provide skincare. And on Facebook, it's DF Hair and Skincare. And as I said earlier, the, the Facebook page is not as active. So I'd recommend persons to more drift towards Instagram currently. It's under construction Facebook. Um, for the email address, it is DF's hair and skincare at gmail.com. DF's hair care, my apologies, at gmail.com. And right. of course, I'm on WhatsApp. Who is not on WhatsApp? So <laughs> right. WhatsApp is 542 Okay, awesome. Um, so I just want to ask though, do you have any final words that you'd like to say to all our professionals who are watching this, who want to start their own business, who want to move up the, the corporate ladder, who want to just be better at what they do? Is there anything else that you'd like to say to them? Yes, indeed. Stay motivated, right? Of course, the the, 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 the route may not be so, well, you may have it planned out and it, for some persons it may not be so plain, but it's very important that you stay motivated. It doesn't matter, especially in this all coronavirus um, pandemic, it's most important that you know, you stay, remember your mission, remember the purpose for which you started and just stay on track. It doesn't matter whatever comes before you, just continue to produce and make your customers proud. 
at the end of the day, if you produce a product that somebody really, really wants, and if you are delivering a service that somebody really, really wants, and you provided them with an experience that, and a uniqueness, that experience and uniqueness will stand out and will have the person wanting to come back, right? So just be you, be unique and stay motivated. All right, awesome. So there you have it, guys. From our very own Daniel Fung, a student who is studying to be a dental surgeon who has her own business um, doing a skin and hair care line who is just making strides, coming out with a new with new products very soon. Looking forward to that. So guys, until next time, this is your DIY professional saying that you can do it because it's time to be the best version of you. Bye.